now 8.05, minus 9 right now at the airport. Chilly morning in Calgary. Good morning, everyone. Calgary's new city council will be sworn in today. In fact, at 7 o'clock tonight. Mayor Nahed Nenshi and 14 city councillors officially beginning their four-year term in office this evening. This city council, elected one week ago today, is made up of 10 re-elected councillors, also four rookies. The swearing-in ceremony is open to the public, by the way, on a first-come, first-served basis. Doors open at 6.30 in City Hall Chambers. Swearing-in beginning at 7 o'clock sharp. The first city council meeting is exactly one week from today on Monday, November 4th. Legislation surrounding June's devastating floods among the issues that will be hotly debated during the fall sitting of the legislature in Edmonton. Provincial politicians heading back to Edmonton today. It's also expected the opposition will be all over the Tories when it comes to government transparency and fiscal accountability. The session will open with a private member's bill, by the way, for an amendment to the Human Tissue and Organ Donation Act. It will ask Albertans if they would agree to sign up to donate organs when they renew their driver's licenses. This fall sitting begins today and will continue until the 5th of December. Arrests have been made now in connection with a hail of bullets in northeast Calgary over the weekend. Gunshots leaving cars and houses with bullet holes in two different Calgary communities. It all happened right around 11 a.m. yesterday. Two men are in police custody after a total of three homes and three vehicles were hit by bullets in Abbeydale and Marlborough Park. Investigators are still trying to piece together what led to this shooting and how the gunplay went down. Now, we do know it all started when a man called 911 saying the vehicle he was driving was hit by a stray bullet. Uh, we have no reason to believe that that actually occurred. Uh, their motive uh, or the, the motive of the offender at this point in time is unknown. Police are still interviewing the two suspects. No word on any charges yet. There are no suspects in a triple stabbing at a new bar along McLeod Trail. Three men are in hospital with serious injuries after a stabbing. The men involved were at the Marquee Beer Market and Stage, formerly known as the Back Alley Nightclub. This all went down about 2.30 in the morning on Sunday or late Saturday night. If it depends on your perspective. At this point, police do not know what provoked the knife attacks. A new survey of 400 Canadian employers says the sedentary nature of Canadian workplaces is becoming as much of a health risk as stress for many workers. The Sun Life Financial Survey found about one in four employers now consider work-related stress and a couch potato lifestyle the most serious health risks affecting their staff. 92% acknowledging that healthy employees mean more productivity, better attendance and of course a stronger bottom line. The Mental Health Commission of Canada says half a million Canadians are absent from work every week due to mental health issues.